Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a quick steelbook unboxing here for you. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of Creed II. And um, I really like the look of it. I like the look of the, the Creed symbol with the two, uh, the Roman numeral two behind it, and him uh, in the front here. I think Rocky's in the back. We'll see in a second. Um, but yeah, this is a 4K Ultra HD Blu ray digital copy version. Um, it's a black steelbook. It looks like it's probably very glossy. Uh, yeah, glossy. So probably it's going to have lots of fingerprints on it, so we'll see in a second here. I have not seen this film yet. Am I getting that? There we go. And as you can see, it's a little loose, which is kind of lame, but you know. Whatever. Today is Saturday. Um, what, the second, I think? Yeah. And yeah, there's Rocky on the back there. And it's... Yeah, well, I don't know if it's thing for Magnum, but it's definitely glossy. There's the front there. Actually, yeah, it's definitely, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing smudges already. I'm barely touching this. I've already got, like, a fucking scuff on it, which is lame, but whatever. Um, I don't see any dents, which is more of a problem. But anyway, yeah, there's uh, Donna's Creed on the front. It says Creed 2 on the spine, and it says, it does not say 4K or anything, but it has the MGM and the Warner Brothers logo. And then there's Rocky Balboa on the back. Coach Rock. Let me open this up. Oop, shit. 4K disc is moving around there. There's my digital copy. Hold on a second. Okay. There are the discs, and yeah, they're both black, which is typical of uh, Warner Brothers. There is the 4K disc, and behind that is the Blu-ray disc. No DVD. And there's a picture of um, him training, it looks like, with Rock holding the, the bag. I have not seen Creed besides the first time I saw it, I think. I liked it. Um... So I was looking forward to seeing this one. Although I remember thinking at first that we didn't really need a second one, but especially when I found out the premise when it's just like a, it's like a rehash of Rocky Four, so which you know it makes sense, like for like uh, favoritism. A lot of people like that film a lot. A lot of people, yeah. Well, there's the credits too. I didn't notice that. But like I said, I haven't seen it, so I can't really judge it. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out it though. Shit. Goes back. Very cool. Yeah, you can see it now. There's lots of fingerprints coming up on here, so I'm going to have to put that in the case quick. And then here is the synopsis and whatnot. You guys can pause that if you want to read it. I'm assuming everybody's going to be buying this film because it's pretty popular. I don't know. Was this up for any awards for the Oscars? I don't recall. I don't think so, but maybe it was. There are the credits. There's the special feature. More images. Dolph, Lund Dolph Lundgren there. It's Ivan Drago and his son uh, Victor Drago, I believe. Yeah. And then the 4K information and uh, movies anywhere stuff. And the movie is 130 minutes. It's got Dolby Atmos, Dolby Audio, usual stuff. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Very simple. Like I said, I'm assuming most people are going to be buying this anyway, so, like, it doesn't have to go, like, through too much, but, um, I don't, it's actually very black, this steelbook. I don't recall what the first one looks like. I think it's a picture of him on the, on the ropes or something, but, I don't look, look, look at that. You can see, I just take it on the packaging. It's got fingerprints all over it, so I almost would prefer it. It's a matte steelbook instead. I know I, I go back and forth sometimes when I talk about this stuff, but... It's just so fingerprint prone. Is, do I actually have? Yeah, I got one ding there. That's really lame, but whatever. So, so anyway, yeah. That's it, guys. I'm just complaining about the fucking gloss. But thank you for watching. I look forward to checking this out. Let me know what you feel about the film. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't. I I heard it was mostly good reviews, but maybe some people uh, didn't like it as much, um, which is typical of sequels, I suppose. But uh, um, anyway, let me know what you thought. I'm looking forward to checking it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again later. And bye.